in our previous video we already solved the problem number six on chapter two this one now we will continue to problem number seven so let's read the problem first resolve the force f1 into components acting along the u and v axis and determine the magnitude of the components so in this problem it states that our force one has its own components acting along the u and v axis so that will make our force one in this situation as our resultant so let's plot our force one into our u and v axis so this is now our force one guys plotted on our u and v axis so let's draw its component acting along the u and v axis so the first one is our force v acting in this line guys along on our v axis so it will look like this this one and second is our force u the component of our force one acting in our u axis now that we already have plotted its components guys on the u and v axis now let's draw the parallel lines of each forces for us to draw our parallelogram since we will be solving this problem using parallelogram law so this one right here is our force v and this one right here is our force u so let's draw its parallel line guys so from the tip of our force v let's draw a parallel line of our force u so this is this one guys is our still our force u because this is parallel to force u and from the tip of our force u let's draw a parallel line of our force v so this is also force v now we already have our parallelogram so let's determine the interior angles of our parallelogram so in this situation guys the same on problem six since our axis guys is two intersecting lines so this angle right here which is 75 degrees must be equal to our angle right here guys because they are opposite so this angle right here must be 75 degrees and we already have an angle of 30 degrees so let's subtract 75 minus 30 so this one right here is 45 degrees now guys we will be using the properties of a parallelogram in determining the interior angles so guys since this area right here is an alternate interior angle of this 30 degrees so this is also 30 degrees and this area right here i mean this angle right here guys is an alternate interior angle of our 45 degrees so this is also 45 degrees and the sum of our interior angles of our parallelogram is 360 degrees so we already have uh, the value of two angles of the two angle of our parallelogram guys so the remaining is this two and also this two guys is equal since they are opposite on each other so let's subtract this is a total of 75 right here and this is also 75 so 360 minus 275 and let's divide it by 2 so let's state this guys the angle right here is our angle a same as this one because they are congruent on each other so our angle a is equals to 360 minus 2 times 75 and then let's divide it by 2 so the value of our angle a is equals to 105 degrees so er, this angle right here is 105 degrees same as this angle right here now guys in solving the components or i mean the magnitude of our force v and force u we can either use this triangle right here or this one since they are congruent on each other so they have the same magnitudes so let's use this angle i mean this triangle right here so let's copy that one let's draw it again so let's copy guys the magnitudes i mean its values guys so this angle right here is 105 degrees this one is 30 degrees 
this one is 45 degrees also let's label it guys fu and this one is our force one which is equals to 4 kilo newton now guys since this is not a right triangle so we can apply in solving the magnitudes of the force v and force u we can apply the law of sine or the law of cosine so in this problem guys we will be applying the law of sine so first let's get the magnitude of our force v so let's use the law of sine so force v is our missing so force v is over sine 45 is equals to force 1 over sine 105 and the value of our force 1 guys is we already have the value of our force 1 so that is 4 kilo newton so let's write 4 now let's solve for the magnitude of our force v so that is sine 45 multiplied by 4 over sine 105 and we can get the value of our force v is equals to 2.9282 kilo newton so that is the magnitude of one of the components of our force 1 now let's solve for uh, the magnitude of our force u force u same guys you let's use the law of sine so force u over let's see its opposite angle so force u its opposite angle is 30 so sine 30 degrees is equals to our f1 which is 4 kilonewton over sine 105 so our force u is equals to sine 30 degrees multiplied by 4 over sine 105 so we can get the value of our force u is equals to 2.0706 kilo newton so that is how we can find guys the magnitude of the components along the u and v axis of our force one